Bursa has expressed fear that the threat of a government collapse is still imminent without the implementation of reforms. Yeah, so, you know, the, the last time when Pakatan formed gov government in 2018, um, their expectation and everybody's expectation is that they would have a, a full five years uh, term to reform, bring about some of the important institutional reform. But um, of course, we knew in the end, they only had 22 months. Now, the concern this time still is valid simply because the apart from the anti-hopping law, uh, political situation is still pretty much a status quo as per GE14. Bursa Chairperson Thomas Fun said that the reforms were needed to take away any pressure for a change of government. Uh, so, which means that there is that possibility also that this government may not last. And that's why all the political maneuvering um, by their partners to uh, getting Najib pardon and charges against the Deputy Prime Minister Zahid's uh, drop, things like that. All these are speculation and uh, behind the scenes maneuver. He said this at the launch of Bursa's 2022 annual report online on Facebook today. Thus, Fun called on the current administration to implement parliamentary reforms that allow all MPs to play an active role in parliament. By allowing parliamentarians, both government backbenchers and also the opposition to play a more active and meaningful role, uh, their respective role, I think will take away some of the pressure for a change of government. Fun added that another low-hanging fruit was the Constituency Development Fund. This would provide all lawmakers with allocations for development projects and assistance for their constituencies. While the CDF was part of Pakatan Harapan's manifesto, Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim did not announce funds for opposition MPs in the retabling of Budget 2023.